Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, four, next four month prediction reading uh, for Scorpio. This is going to be from September to December. Uh, we're just going to see what's surrounding you guys for each of those months. Uh, you can apply this to any replacements because this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when i go live also if you guys are interested in following me on tiktok and also on instagram the links for those are in the description box below i do also post readings on there too so let's see um yeah let's get started so scorpio tell me about scorpio here scorpio for the next four months from september to december what's going on with scorpio from september to december here Tell me about Scorpio in September. Tell me about Scorpio in September. Tell me about Scorpio in September. Ace of Pentacles here and the Six of Swords. Some of you guys could be new, moving towards a new home. Yeah. Some of you guys could be actually physically... I mean, some of you guys could be moving down the block, moving next neighborhood over, moving to a different town, a different state, a different city, a different country. Just apply this to your own unique situation. But there is a move that's happening here. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Page of Swords and Justice, Sleep or Energy. This is interesting. Some of you guys, for some of you guys, some of you guys could be going back to school. Yeah, so some of you guys could be going back to school this September. Uh, some of you guys could be going to law school or something like that. And maybe uh, this law school that you're going to is at a distance from your home. You have to drive, you have to fly, you have to take a boat, you know, whatever that might look like to you. Okay, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Justice, Libra, Energy, and the Eight of Swords here, and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, uh, you're definitely, you know, I do feel like you're anxious and worried about, you know, what's happening in September because I feel like there's a lot going on here, Scorpio. But, you know, I just feel like you don't have to worry here. You don't have to worry here. Oh, wow. Seven of Swords and the Hermit. What's going on here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? King of, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Seems like you're trying to get away from somebody here too. I don't know. For some of you guys, there is someone here that's very physically abusive here. Okay? And I feel like you're trying to get away from this abusive person here. You're trying to distance yourself. Perhaps that's why you're taking a job somewhere else. I mean, you might even have, I mean, you might have get, gone, gone as far as taking legal action with this person here. But if there is a legal case regarding this person that has, like, maybe assaulted you here, I do feel like it's going to go in your favor because I feel like you have enough proof. Yeah, you have enough proof here, okay? Or that there is proof that's going to be provided that will go in your favor here. Okay, so we got Scorpio here in October. We got the Four of Cups. We got the uh, Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We got a Strength card, Leo Energy, and the High Priestess. Leo Energy, High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces. Okay, at this time, I feel like you guys are really trying to strengthen your intuition here. You know, I do feel like some of you guys are definitely doing a lot of contemplating here. Yeah. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you guys might get a charge or a boost of energy here because I feel like whatever you're doing here with your intuition, like these exercises that you're doing here, it's sort of like giving you a boost of energy here. Yeah, you know, some of you guys could be meditating here too, or that some of you guys are, you know, really consistent with your meditation practices. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups here and the Empress. Wow. Look at that, Scorpio. You, some of you guys are leveling up here. Yeah, some of you guys are getting into this like very creative energy here. Some of you guys are definitely just manifesting. You know, you guys are attracting here. You guys are not chasing anything. You guys are living your truth. You know, um, you know, doing things from your higher self here. Okay, uh, we have the Temperance card and the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Seems like you guys might be recovering from something here. Maybe recovering from some sort of sadness here. But with Temperance card, 
Things are pretty balanced. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. You're happy. Your money is great. Your career is great here. Okay. Uh, tell me about Scorpio in November. Knight of Wands here in the world. During this time in November, some of you guys could be traveling here. Yeah, some of you guys could be traveling here. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Uh, we have the Queen of Cups here in the Tower. Aries, Scorpio energy. You know, make sure you pay attention to the signs here because during the month of November, there's a lot of signs dropping right in front of you. Synchronicities, you know, lights flickering on and off, you know, um, seeing like a certain bird over and over again or a butterfly or something like that. There are signs dropping right in front of you. I feel like the universe wants to let, let you know that, you know, it's there to support you. Maybe spirit is letting you know that, but I feel like in November, there are signs dropping in front of you. You shouldn't ignore the signs here, Scorpio. Five of Swords here and the Nine of Swords. Mm, there's some, you're definitely going through some sort of mental discord here. There's stress. There's anxiety here. There's, um, there's insecurity. So I feel like in November, you could be experiencing a lot of change. And I feel like it's going to cause anxiety here. But I feel like these signs that are dropping right in front of you are asking you not to worry here. Okay, uh, some of you guys have um, sleep problems. Yeah, some of you guys have sleep problems here. The Chariot, Cancer Energy and the Judgment, Sagittarius Energy. I feel like for the month of November, you guys have some big decisions to make. And I feel like these big decisions is maybe regarding your home here. Is regarding your home here. Make sure you guys have good homeowner's insurance here. That's really important for you guys at this time, especially during November. Because I almost get the feeling that whatever happens to someone's home here, you know, someone here might get left out in the cold. Okay? This is going to happen while someone is traveling. Alright, tell me about uh, Scorpio in December. Three of Wands here and the Six of Pentacles. This is so interesting. If something happens to your home, insurance, insurance is going to pay out the damages or whatever. Yeah, it is going to pay you out here, okay, in December. And the Two of Swords here and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, someone here doesn't really know what, where they're going here. Yeah, someone here is feeling really lost at this time. It has something to do with a home that happens here. I'm not quite sure what happens, but something happens here. Nine of Wands here and the Ten of Swords. Wow. And the Knight of Pentacles here and the Emperor. You know, whatever happens here, it's going to be quite scary. Things are going to be uncertain here. But I feel like you're going to maintain your composure. You're going to stay calm here, Scorpio. You're going to stay calm here. Yeah. You're going to stay calm here. Okay? Okay. So Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.